And we're going to start by going over some basics about Solana. So the first thing is I want to share with you guys these links here. I'm going to put them in the chat as well. But um, the first one on the left is going to be the link to the actual workshop. And then the other ones, um, we'll talk about some more. Solana Playground is basically like an IDE that lives online. So like if you don't have anything installed for Solana or for Rust, um, that's a great way to actually be able to use that, like all of those tooling without having to install it locally. So it's basically designed for writing smart contracts, but you know, you can do some other stuff too, and they're adding new features to it. So it's really cool. Links are in the chat, but again, you can also use the QRs. And then, yeah, the cookbook is also a really great resource. It has like a ton of guides and some code snippets and all this cool stuff to get you guys started. So some of the code that I'm going to go over is inspired by some cookbook stuff. And you'll see in the workshop that I linked, the readme also has everything that I'm covering right now docked out and with some links to cookbook and stuff like that. So, you know, you should have everything you need to kind of like retain all this stuff from the workshop. But um, so yeah, links are in the chat. So I'm gonna go off this screen now, but cool. So the first thing we wanna cover on Solana are key pairs. So before I dive into this, I think you guys all know a little bit about Solana, right? Like, you know, you know, why Solana is such a competitor in the blockchain space. It's really fast. It's, you know, it has a pretty unique way of storing state. And, um, you know, amongst other things, there's a lot of really cool benefits. And so when it comes to building D apps and things for your hackathon, you know, it's really handy to have a fast blockchain that's also really inexpensive on gas fees, right? So, you know, you can just imagine the kinds of things that you can build versus something like Ethereum, where you have to consider these costs in any of your design. So we're going to start with the basic fundamentals. For those of you guys who aren't super familiar with crypto, um, Solana utilizes key pairs like other blockchains do. And this is basically how your wallet works, right? So like you've got two keys, you've got a public key and a private key. And basically the private key is designed to sign transactions or messages. And then the public key is the key that you can share publicly, which is why it's called public key. And it can be used to decrypt what your private key has encrypted. And so therefore, if you know that you're able to decrypt something with my public key, you know it was signed by my private key. And signing just means it hashes it using a cryptographic algorithm. So that's a little bit of a TLDR on key pairs. Basically, this is how wallets work in crypto and particularly on Solana. And you can see down there, I just have like a CLI command that comes with the Solana toolkit for creating those key pairs. Now, before I go any further, I just want to mention to you guys, um, there is, you know, there's going to be some code that you can pull down from the workshop repo that I shared with you guys. And the only thing you should need is Node.js and you need to have the Solana CLI installed. So those links can be found in the repo itself, but I'm going to just share the install Solana link as well. Um, so you can get that stuff set up locally. Hopefully you've already got it. Maybe you've already started building a little bit or whatever, but that's how you install the CLI. And then you'll be able to actually run the code that you'll see in TypeScript. So anywho, um, these are how wallets work. And this is the first fundamental concept to understand is you basically have two key pairs or you have a key pair for your wallet. And then to actually create a wallet on Solana, what you have to do is register your public key with the Solana network. And that's done by what's called the system program. So the system program is one of many native programs that live on Solana. And basically the system program is responsible for kind of like managing new accounts. So it can register public keys as blockchain addresses, which we'll talk about in a minute. It can allocate space at a particular account's address, and it can change the ownership of an account. And we'll talk about ownership in a second as well. I'm going to quickly check the questions here. Okay, that's just the old one. Sounds good. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, so that's how the system program works. Like I said, there's many native programs like the token program, which we'll talk about later. There's some other programs that do particular like core operations on Solana. And as you guys get deeper and deeper into like the dev space on Solano, you'll kind of learn what these things do. But what you basically need to know is they're smart contracts that are native to the network. They are already deployed and live there. Most of them were built by either the community or Solana Labs. 
and they manage particular like operations for state that are fundamental to Solana. So the system program, remember, is how you basically create new accounts. And that's what that whole like registering process is doing.